Hey everybody, I was so sad that we didn't get to be together for our retreat, but I just wanted to check in with you and tell you a little bit what I had planned and tell you a little bit about what's happening with us now. It's so crazy, the morning that I was flying to Norway was the morning after we got the information. So I was actually getting ready to go over to the airport. We were at a hotel by the airport. I was just gonna walk over and come see you guys. And then we got the word. So we went over and tried to rebook our flights to come back. That was on Thursday morning. And the first flight we could get out was on Saturday. So we ended up just hanging around in London and it wasn't really a bad time because everyone else was gone. So it worked out really well for us. But we got back home and uh, we self-quarantined for the two weeks when we came back and then pretty much I did for an additional three weeks um, at the house too, just to make sure everything was good. I've come back to the store now uh, to work a little bit with just our core group inside. But tomorrow in Texas, they've uh, lifted so many of the restrictions and tomorrow our store opens for 25% occupancy. So customers will be coming in tomorrow and all over um, in most of Texas. So we'll see how all that goes. I hope all of you are doing really well. I know that some of you had, were out of the country and were trying to get back in and it was just a crazy time. But my biggest disappointment was that we didn't get to be together and I wanted to show you a little bit about what we were going to do. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to do it again later, but brand new was the theme and these were gonna be your totes. I kept them, so I brought them all back home. And we were gonna study in Ephesians the verse brand new, which is kind of works out really well now because we're all into something new and we're all coming out in a brand new way. In Ephesians it says, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So I thought, wow, that being brand new really applies to us today. We've experienced brand new things that we've never experienced before. And hopefully we can all come out through the other side in a brand new way with brand new hopes and brand new faith. Uh, we were going to talk about the people in the Bible that became brand new, how they changed. One of them was going to be Joseph and how he uh, became a brand new person. Uh, Mary and Martha, how they changed. Mary and Elizabeth. And so I hope we'll have a chance to get together again and talk about all these different ways that people in the Bible became brand new. I hope that during this time you've uh, been able to maybe do a Bible study and you've been able to stay connected to friends and that you'll truly come out as a brand new person with a stronger faith than when we went into this whole dilemma. And I hope that um, we have the opportunity to be together again and know that uh, I'm praying for all of you and I hope that the fall brings so many great things for you and your church, your women's group, and I truly, truly look forward to an opportunity to be with you again. Thank you so much.